All right. Okie dokie. Not the best of spawns, but not the worst. No, not the worst. Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. No. Just some more right. stuff to get everybody up in the orange. That's all. Yeah. All we've got to do is wait for Wanda to skate around and pick up the objectives, and then she'll put us all into red before we get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's why I want these guys to kill some stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they need to catch up. Yep. All um, right. Your turn. My turn, yes. Yeah, so. I'm wondering whether I should send anybody else in to try and search to try and find a Molotov. Need to get that sort of stuff, don't we? I mean, we uh, could do with some shotgun, plenty of ammo as well. Um, well, at the moment, nothing is within range for Josh, so I'm going to send him into search okay. again. He won't be able to find anything, so let's see, see what he can. Well, he won't be able to get hit anything with his gun, so let's see what he finds. He finds an arg. Oh, he will be able to hit something with his gun. There you go. <laughs> If you can't bring Josh to the zombies, bring the zombies to Josh. <laughs> There's one walker in there with him. And we're at 14. No. Tough choice. <laughs> <laughs> Do I use the shotgun? <laughs> or the chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> or the frying pan? <laughs> They've probably got equal chances on all three. <laughs> <laughs> um, two dice, four. Or, come on, Mr. Mathematician. Two dice, four are over, or five dice, five are over. Oh, well, I'm an American, and we always say, when in doubt, throw a bucket full of dice. Right, okay, then. He's going with the chainsaw, then. <sighs> and hell, he gets two tries, so he can throw ten dice at it. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Five. five. I got five, three fours, and a two. One five out of all that. One five, yes. There you go. Hold well on, Josh. There's no problem that can't be solved eventually with overkill. Give That's him his XP. True. Yep, done that. Okay. So then that's three of his moves. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, and his fourth one moves back out again. Alrighty. Okay, um, do I go in and search with Doug then? Oh, because Doug would have to drop something. Well, he could drop a pistol. If it's something worthwhile. Or shall I, shall I think with Doug I'll step him up and shoot at the three zombies that are coming that way. Or one, two, shoot at them, move back, on. No, that won't work. Um. What do you think? Do you think I should move up and shoot at the three zombies, or should I search? That's your call. All right. Well, I'm going to rely remember, on you. Remember, we're going to be surrounded with six zombies next turn. Uh, yeah, but, that's true. I mean, we should be able to take them out. Yeah. We're going to okay. have plenty of actions and plenty of weapons. Yeah. Okay. So he's moving in. Going to search. All right, very that. good. What There's a goalie mask. Armor. It uh, prevents one wound. Really? No. Yep. Um, in that case, then he's going to drop his pistol. Yep. Two of Hey, not seen that before. Call him mask. Yeah, first time we've had it come up in the game. And then he's stepping back out to where all the action's going to be. <clears throat> Alrighty. Right, that leaves Phil. Phil's now going to have his shots at the runner square. Although he's got to kill three walkers before he can even hit the runners, so... It's alright. Yeah, not okay. a problem. Three are over. <laughs> he gets a four. Very hey. good. Bang. Okay, uh, second shot, you're over, he gets a two and misses, um, I've got plenty of ammo though, I can re-roll it, yes, can't you I? Yes can, mm-hmm. Okay, you're over, 
Oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing, giving him plenty of ammo. I definitely do. Yeah, I think it's best to best to have all our chances at long range if we can. Because yep. everybody, we got plenty of people that can shoot up close. Yep, and he gets a six. Yay. Okay. Now let's see if we can take out one of the runners. Well, they're not going to get past um, all you twins and everything when they get close, unless they get a double activation. Four! Yay! There go. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so he took three walkers and a runner. Got one down. point on for the one runner. One down. And one, two, three. Alright. So. Zombie there, and then start a new. And Wanda, Wanda reaches over and cranks up the Wagner on the stereo in there because she's still not going to make as much noise as y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite true. Hey, that's six runners we've killed now. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. Is that everybody? That's everybody on my side. Your turn now. Okay. Well, we will send Wanda first. And Wanda, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. She goes one, one to there. two, three, and then uses her fourth one to pick up that objective. Yeah, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, well, I mean, she can wait. No, 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 no. No, better to get on with it. And we could wait, and we could have one more yellow spawn. No, I don't think so. I think we'll we'll one, go two, for it. Three, four, five. She is at twenty-two. Now you say she gets an experience card as well. Now does she? Do you, yeah. Do you, do you get we'll to choose your two from your two your slippery or your plus one to dice roll as well? Yep, yep. Let's see. And I'm actually thinking that I'm going to put her slippery. Yeah, Slipper, she's the one that's going getting all the stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what she's going to take. With Slippery, does that mean that if she wanted to, and she could do with her, her movement points, could she move through a tile with zombies on it? Uh, she can't move through as in two. You always have to stop. But it's like, uh, you know, this, this square here... Let's say she was in the same square with the runner. That's what I'm thinking. If she comes out the bottom door there and goes through that across mm -hmm. towards the other one, how, how does she get through this tile here, this one? And okay. Uh, well, right now she's right here, right? Yeah. So on her next turn, let's say if she had four movements at the beginning of her turn, she'd go one. Yeah. And that would be her normal movement. But she, even if it wasn't, she'd have to stop. Yeah. And then she would go two. She wouldn't have to pay any movement she wouldn't cost have to because pay of the slipper. Slipper, you don't have to pay any extra movement cost to move out. Brilliant. Brilliant. So yeah. if she was here, for instance, she could move there. It would cost her one point to move here. You know, normally it would cost two because of the runner. Yeah. But she would have to stop. She couldn't do two like that. She'd have to stop. So that would be one point and then two points. All right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're given a slippery. Now, do you get to you get to choose what her? Uh, yeah, it's like an now we get to choose what her experience card is. Okay. Let's see. Um. What's that? All right, that's the wife. Hang on, just a second. All right, get things going here again. Stretch out. Have a cup of my coffee. <laughs> Ooh, wish I had something warm to drink instead of the water. Uh, it's freezing here. Well, you got a birthday coming up. I'll buy you a coffee maker. <laughs> Great. I still be drinking water. <laughs> Teach you to drink a real man's drink, boy. <laughs> hey, I've fallen for that one before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew, should have known it was a should have known it was a uh, con when you started unzipping. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I am thinking. I was looking at the stack here. I was doing yep. that while I was I was otherwise indisposed. Yep. I'm thinking lockpick. Lockpick? 
Mm -hmm. What does that do for you? It allows you to open doors without needing a crowbar or an axe, and it's silent. Okay, does it take a turn to do it? Uh... Yeah, it still takes, you still have to take a turn to do it. But you don't need a crowbar, you don't need an axe. And I'm just thinking, if Wanda's going to be our high mobility, slippery, objective grabbing door opening person, zipping around the map opening doors and stuff. Yeah. But it could be a really good idea because she can go from where she is now across into my big building. Come up here, through there, pop that yeah. door, come over, pop that door. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And the same kind of thing, you know, if, since we carry these cards over from one game to another, you know, the beginning of the next game, we're sitting there in blue, she can zip around the map, opening up all the doors while we're still in the blue phase. Yep, yep. Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it, where you think, oh, I'd really give it, like to give her something that makes her do devastating damage. But, mm -hmm. yeah, seeing as how Wander is the one we use for moving around and getting things done, Right, right. And I mean, you know, the other alternative is to give her some kind of weapon card. But, I mean, you know, give her something like chainsaw or shotgun or something like that, it's not going to help out in this game because she's just carrying a pistol and a machete. Well, she could go past Josh and you get know, a chainsaw. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, the, uh, um, um, you know, lockpick is going to be good in this game and will be good in future games as long as she's still alive. Actually, you might be onto something there. Like, you know, if you can give a chainsaw and come and pick up the chainsaw from Josh because, yeah, she's moving, she can start, then if she does end up somehow getting blocked in by a group of zombies, if she's got a chainsaw, what does the chainsaw ability do? I mean, can you imagine if you can add, say, like, if you can do it on a four or five or six, how much um, damage she will do with that thing? Let's see what the, the different chainsaw abilities are. You have, um, there's chainsaw plus one to the dice roll and chainsaw yeah, four, five, plus, and chainsaw plus one melee action are your two chainsaw actions. Yeah, so you can either have an extra roll with your dice, or you can uh, you can get four, five, or six. Mm -hmm. So I think if you if you you know if you give her that with four, five, or six, and if she does get hemmed in anywhere by herself, she's actually. But yeah, like you say, it's no good then if she can't open the doors. Mm -hmm. But chainsaws open doors. <laughs> Just noisy. Yeah. That's a tough call. That, that really is a tough call because, like you say, the, the, the locking, unlocking doors will help in all games, you know, because that's what we use her for. Mm -hmm. The chainsaw will help in this game. And it will help chainsaw. in all games, but you got to find a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could go through four fifths of the game without finding a chainsaw. Yeah. She's your character. What do you feel like? Do you feel, do you feel you got? Because if she comes, if she gets up here and she skips through, like say, just for instance, you end, mm -hmm. end your turn. Let's say you end your turn here behind the door. So at the next turn, you've got one turn, one movement point to pop it open. Mm -hmm. One to move into the street. One to pop that open, and then one to there. Well, I wouldn't go there because this room's gonna spawn. Well. So I yeah. wouldn't move in with them. What well, I would yeah. probably do is then just move back out, like over this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm back out. And even if then... I've got, even if I'm in a zone full of zombies, since she's slippery, she can just move right on out. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's a tough call. I'm glad it's not my choice. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with the lock pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see how that goes. Let's see which one's lock pick. Um... The only thing is, you know, like with, with a chainsaw, you have got a possibility of even if you only got one turn to use it, you have got a possibility of killing five zombies on your square. 
you, right. I mean, you wouldn't do, but you, right. that's the possibility. Right. But, you know, you've got... You know, you've got... Uh, your character's well, coming up, and we're it. all going to, you know... We're all going to hit orange before this game is over, I'm sure. Yeah. So, alrighty. She will get lockpick. I'll drop it right there beside her. Alright. Okay, well, that's a good skill to have. Alright, that's her turn done. Yep. Now, we have Amy and Ned. I think if they can, they should get a search. Well, one of them should get a search in at least. Amy could perhaps move forward and blow the heck out of those three zombies. Mm hmm. In fact, I, um, I mean, she's got four movement. She's got four points, hasn't she? Plus a free movement. Plus a free movement. So just for, just for the sake of argument, free movement to the police car, move forward one, shoot once, move back twice. So that's, you could actually try and take out the two runners, but you'd only get one shot at right. it. Right. And if she comes this way, she gets a move, shoot, 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 move. Yeah. Yeah, and the runner, unless the runners get a double activation, they're not going to be on us next turn anyway, so. Oh, that's right. You went first, didn't you? Hmm. That's right. You've already gone because you shot them and took them out. I think I think you're probably right to move forward yeah. and take out the three. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's going to move up. She'll shoot, 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 and then uh, move back if she needs to do that. Yeah. All right. Two dice, four higher. All right, that's one. It's one dead, is it? Okay, take one walker off. Take one off the count. And now she has gone into the orange. Oh, well done. And she is going to get a free combat to go with her free movement. You put that one on there for then. Hmm. What What did you put the bullet to remind me of? that she's got that too? She's got that as well. All oh, right. Yeah, it's just just a reminder because if I don't have something pointing at it, I may forget. Well, um, well, that's that. The movements one's this one on the on the, the first one, isn't it? Is... Well, I know that she's already always got the blue one. But yeah, I I might not see this one and forget it. All right. Okay. So yeah, that that just is just a particular blind spot of mine. If it's I don't actually, have something yeah. sitting on the yellow, I forget that they got a yellow. Yeah, that's actually a better way to do it. Actually, putting the marker on for both of them. Yeah, like you say, rather than just moving it forward, one. Yeah. It helps seeing that they've got two. It's mm -hmm. very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do that. I want to do it for one or two. Well, that's what they call orange. I guess it is kind of a burnt sienna. Once you've taken the account, the black of the the counter starts out as. All right, so she gets a, a card now, and she is going to go with lockpick. No, um, <laughs> what is she carrying? She's carrying Damien a shotgun, loves right? The shotguns. <laughs> yeah, she is definitely going to go with the shotgun. Let's see, I've got plus one to dice roll. What is a shotgun? Shotgun is two dice and a four higher. So, shotgun gets plus one to dice roll. So, it would be a three or higher. Or you get plus one ranged action or plus one to the die. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's a tough one because if you have plus one die, that means effectively she could take she out. She could possibly take three, out three, yeah. Three a turn. And she's already got a 50 50 chance with each die. Yeah. I think I'll go with that. Yeah, I think I'll go with the, uh, the plus one die. Yeah. And get three dice. <laughs> 
All right. And she gets to use that one right away. Okay, so get you an extra dice. There you mm -hmm. go. All right. So. So in theory, now, if she, if, if, if she ever gets another experience card, she could take on the plus one to dice. So then she'd have, she'd have uh, three three dice, dice. Mm -hmm. with a th three or over is it uh-huh and then wow. if she were to cycle around again yeah she could theoretically get an extra attack with shotguns <laughs> wow yeah shotgun specialist yeah so it pays to specialize yeah and she's so excited she almost missed <laughs> she killed one of them though. <laughs> Came off the board. Right. So that's one Walker off there, and she gets one more, so she goes to twenty. All right, so she's moved forward with a free movement. Yeah, one with a free shot. Shot. So she's got two move, two action points left, so she can shoot again and move, or she can just move. It's up to her. Let's see. So she's yeah. Let's see. Four actions and a free move. So she had the free move. Yep. She has shot twice. Yep. So she's got two action points left. Uh, actually, she's got a free combat. So let's say she's used one free and one action. Oh, so right. She's actually yeah, okay. got three points left. Yes. So she's going to definitely shoot again. Wow. She will be deadly. Yep. Five and a six. So she took that one out. Brilliant. So 21. She's still got two actions left. Take one off the walkers. All right. And she's going to burn one moving back. And she'll just lose the other one. Yeah. No point in getting greedy. That's brilliant, though. Yeah, well done. Yes, yeah, it, it, they they really turn into superheroes there after a while, don't they? They do, yes. All right, Ned. Ned, you've got... You're in the yellow, so you've only got your four actions. So... Move in and search. That's what I'm thinking, move in and search. He's got his free search. So he moves yep. in, he's going to search for free. And then he'll have three action points left after it. And he got another fire axe. <laughs> so he's a dual-wielding fire axe guy now. <laughs> All right, so he's got three more actions. He'll move back out with one. And that's it. Hey. Movement phase, then. Mm-hmm. All right, this runner moves to boom and boom. These runners move to. After being attacked by all those dogs, the runners seem rather mediocre. <laughs> all right, these three walkers move one. Got a count. One. Those move two and they get to the police car. Mm -hmm. And then these three move one. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't get runner <laughs> activations. That's the only thing. Um, by the way, your free uh, yeah. your card. Okay, Something else right. on orange? Yeah. She's on orange too now, isn't she? She is, yes. Let me change her color. Okay. Okay. All right. Your turn to screw us. Long end of this.